Hi guys, today we are making vegetable garden spaghetti using lots of fresh vegetables. We're going to add in some spices to our sauce and we're going to be using none other but spaghetti squash. This dish is 100% vegetables, so let's get started. Alright, first you want to take your spaghetti squash and cut it in half, just like that. Here's what the inside looks like. Ew, ew. We're gonna take our spoon and just scrape all of that stuff out, all those seeds and all that icky stuff. Just scrape it out into a bowl. We don't need that stuff in there. They should look just like that, nice and cleaned out. We're gonna place it into a casserole dish, a nice snug casserole dish. We're gonna pour a little bit of water in there. We're gonna steam these in the oven for about an hour at 350. those in the oven. Alright, now we're going to work on our sauce. Here are all the vegetables I'm going to use for my sauce. You can really use any kind you have. It doesn't really matter. I got some frozen peas here. I got some spinach, some zucchini, um, what else? some bell pepper, onions and carrots. These were all just things that were going bad in my fridge. I had to hurry and use up. So yeah, just dice up some vegetables just like that. Dice them up really good. I grated my carrots. Yeah, yummy, yummy, yummy. All right, for the sauce, I'm using Prego Chunky Garden. You can use homemade sauce, of course, but if you don't have a lot of time, just go ahead and use a jar. Just pour it into a saucepan and then add in all of those yummy vegetables. We're going to cook this over medium-high heat, um, just like that. Just stir in those vegetables. This is a super healthy dish, you guys. So if you are a low-carb eater, you're going to want to make this. All right, bring that to a boil and then reduce the heat and simmer it for about an hour just until those veggies are tender. Now I'm going to add in a little bit of oregano, parsley, whatever you want. Just stir it up. All right, our spaghetti squash are out of the oven. We're going to let them cool off. They'll be very, very hot. Notice how a lot of that water is gone. We have steamed these bad boys in the oven. Now to check if they're done, your fork should glide gently into that spaghetti sauce, I mean into that um, spaghetti squash. And it should pull away easily, like little strands of noodles. See that? All right, now we're going to just take our spaghetti squash and just kind of take a fork and, you know, pull the little strands out. It will look just like spaghetti. And it should come out really, really easily. Put it into a bowl, a casserole dish, whatever. And this squash is so versatile you guys oh my gosh it can you can put sugar on it to sweeten it up you can just drizzle on some olive oil some spices throw in some sausage whatever you want that's why i love this stuff great for dieting great for getting getting a whole bunch of vegetables instead of eating just salad all right i'm gonna take me some put it on a plate and top it with my sauce put a little bit of fresh herbs and we are so done thanks for watching guys bye